Hey guys, it's Tyler. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while. Um, that's just because I haven't really had anything to really post. Um, that's until now and in the next few months. Um, as you can see, there is a new computer sitting in front of me. Um, this actually isn't my new rig yet. This would be my home storage server. Um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, then you know that uh, I have quite a bit of shit on my current uh, hard drives. I have over two terabytes. Um, of anything from music, pictures, movies, gameplay footage that hasn't even been posted yet. Just random crap. Um, so, instead of uh, a NAS, which I was considering, um, to me that would just be kind of pointless for me. Um, because once the drives are full, um, that's about it, right? You're limited to four, maybe even five drives, and that would be it. Um, at least this way for me, it is more future-proof. Um, I also have to do is pop in more drives and that's it. Um, so I will post uh, system specs in more information down below the video because um, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. But um, I'll go through the quick parts. Uh, the motherboard is a Gigabyte uh, H77 chipset, uh, 1155. Um, hang on one second, guys. Okay, there you go. Now you guys can see better. Um, the audio and video might not be the best because I am using my phone now. Um, <clears throat> anyways, as I was saying, uh, the processor is an Intel G860, I believe, which is a Pentium 2 core. Um, I figured I didn't really need anything too powerful. Um, the CPU cooler is a Hyper Evo 212. Um, RAM is Kingston DDR3. Uh, oh yeah, the case. Is a fractal define R4 block. Um, power supply is a Seasonic 650 watt gold modular. Um, and the beast that is helping uh, control the storage, right there, as you can see, is a little modded. Is an LSI RAID card. Below that is a Intel SAS expander. Um, case fans are fractal R2s, this in bottom and rear. Uh, hard drives are 5 WD red, uh, 3 terabytes. Um, and the boot drive is a WD blue 500 gig. Um, so as you can see, the cards are modded a little, just for a little better cooling. Um, because the thing I really wanted um, with this case is to be extremely silent no matter what. Um, because I really don't want to hear it. Um, I don't mind if I hear my own rig, but this one I don't really, it will be pretty much next to it. Um, it will be running off uh, my router, which is gigabit. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it, guys. Um, like I said, I will push, put uh, full system specs below. Um, and uh, I will also did some benchmarking fun, just to see what the RAID card can do with those drives. Um, yeah, so this is what I've been up to for the last maybe two, three months is buying parts and stuff like that, putting it together. Um, I actually just finished working on it. Um, I tried to keep all the kill management the best I can for airflow because um, the RAID card does get really hot. Um, and again, with only those two fans um, in there, airflow isn't exactly the best, but it's just kind of the cost of it being as quiet as it is. Um, one thing I am a little concerned about is, as you can see, the PSU uh, cables are really tightly pinched against this fan. Um, I hope it's not really doing any damage to it. It's just pushing the pins into the PSU more. But uh, as you can see, it's really dusty actually too. Um, side panels have been off for over a month just sitting on the floor. So I guess I should clean that out. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Uh, the front intake fans are knocked to an NF F12s. Uh, they're running at 12 volts. All the fans are at 12 volts. Um, however, the, this one, this one, and the two uh, fans on the cards are on the uh, fan controller, but uh, they're all on 12 volts. I just did that to keep the wires neat. Um, and speaking of wires, I guess I'll show you guys the back of the case. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So this, as you can see, is my cable management. Um, it's not the best, but like I said, I tried to keep everything um, away from the inside of the case. Uh, especially the hard drives, right? 
with uh, just the two intake fans. All right, airflow isn't exactly the best either for those, but uh, they weren't running too hot. Um, I do have some uh, cooling options I could change later on because um, with our room temp of 23 Celsius, they are running anywhere from 27 to 33, um, and that was with uh, constant uh, file transfers, which isn't too bad, I guess, considering. Um, that was one thing I was worried about. But, um, yeah, kill management isn't exactly the best, but considering the amount of wires I had to deal with, where you figure all the wires from the RAID card, the power cables going to the hard drives, um, everything's just kind of crammed in the bottom here, um, and cable tied to what I could. Um, I could add, I think it's three or four more drives to, uh, the port that's still connected to the, to the SAS expander, um, and then I would have to run another cable to it. Um, so, uh, technically I could run the port, the SAS card, sorry, is a SAS expander, is 24 port, um, subtract 4 from the RAID card, so I could run up to 20 drives, if that's what it has come to. Um, so yeah, uh, well, like I said, I could, probably could fit maybe 4 more drives in this case, um, cause honestly I really don't care about the boot drive, if something happens to that, then you know, I really don't care, I can just cram that somewhere else in the case, and uh, I'd much rather have the drives holding the files more secure and getting proper airflow than anything else. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it guys. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible because I know most of my videos tend to drag on. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. So I will post uh, progress pics of the build as well as uh, some benchmark results, just mostly the RAID card because the processor is nothing special. Um, and I'm pretty sure most of you will know how that performs. Um, the only thing I did do was stress test it. Um, I was planning on overclocking it even to 3.5 because the stock clock is 3 gigahertz. But uh, yeah, that didn't seem very likely to happen. Um, motherboard isn't uh, the best at overclocking, which isn't a surprise considering the chipset. But um, it will be fine for now. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it, guys. Um, Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, um, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.